Hi everyone, Lacey here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week and a good weekend. As I said, um, I figured that filming days was going to move to Sundays, and here we are. Um, so what did I do this weekend? Yesterday we didn't do too much. Um, yeah, no, we attempted to go to the mall to finish some Christmas shopping, which was pretty busy, and then... Um, yeah, my son lost interest pretty quickly, so we cut that short. And then, um, yeah, just kind of hung out around here, tried to catch up on some floss tube. And, uh, yeah, today, though, we went to see Frozen. We've been trying to go for a couple weeks, but my son's been having some difficulty in school, so that's been taken away from him a couple times. But uh, last week, he did pretty good with his uh, behavior and had pretty good notes in his communication book that comes home from school. So um, we did go see Frozen. He did not sit very well through it, and so, yeah, so that was fun. But luckily, since we go to age-appropriate movies, no one seemed to care. We were on an aisle, so we didn't bother anyone, but, yeah, it was still frustrating that way. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to do any spoilers for Frozen 2 in case anyone hasn't seen it. I still thought the first one was, was better. Um, which typically the first one is better. Um, so, but it was still good. Um, yeah, but first one's still better. Um, as far as the running challenge that I was talking about previously, um, today was day 21 and I did that this morning with the, with my running group. So we've got 21 days down, so nine to go. So we can't stop now. Hmm. Seems like a long way away. Christmas Eve is uh, the last day. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I can keep that up. Um, thank you to all my 59 subscribers. Um, yeah, I gained one more last week, so that's always great. Welcome. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. And um, thank you to the Crafty Peacock for your kind comment on my last video. I'm glad to see that you are back making videos again. If you haven't checked her out, make sure you check out her floss, floss tube, um, the Crafty Peacock, because I think you'll enjoy it. And um, as far as the giveaway goes from last week, um, Kelly, I did get your email. Thank you. And I should get that out to them in the mail this week, hopefully. Sorry, I lost track of time this week. I knew there was something that I needed to do. When I sat down to do this video, then it hit me. So um, I did get your email and I will get it to you this week. So, um, so sorry. Um, as far as, um, oh, some haul. I'm still waiting on a few things. Um, shipping to Canada takes forever. So, uh, yeah, still have some, some things waiting. I did get some dandelion hoops in the mail, um, which I've shown before. Um, and I used those for a couple, or some of those for um, a fully finished piece that, well, I might as well show you now. Um, why not? Let's just skip to the good stuff. So, um, as far as fully finished pieces go, you saw the little apples that I had made um, last week um, using uh, the the apples from the pattern at. Um, Try that again. The apples in the September pattern for hands-on design year celebrations, and then I was going to make them into necklaces. So I got the hoops in the mail. Oops. Well, these aren't showing very good. So I got the hoops in the mail, and so I got them done. These are for my son's teacher, teachers. He has one teacher, and then there's two ECEs in his class. So, so I made them three little necklaces. So those are a very quick stitch. He has a Christmas concert Tuesday night, so I think I'll get his presents all made up to hand out that night. <clears throat> um, he had a chocolate sale at his school as well for these. They're called mint smoothie chocolates. Um, they are made in Stratford, which is not too far from here. And they were $2 for this bar. It's a pretty good size bar. And we sold 136 so I think that was pretty good. And uh, so we just got them in 
picked them up on Friday from school. So I was packaging them up. Um, uh, about 10 people from my work ordered some. So I have them all boxed up in the car, ready to take them in. But then I ordered some for teachers and um, for gifts for the after school program coordinators as well. So not like every other kid's not going to give them those as well, but whatever, we'll throw that in with their gifts. Um, yeah, and then as, uh, as I said, I have more haul on the way, and, uh, but something very exciting is I did get the project bags oh. that my friend Amy was making for me, um, from Stitch the Dot. I'll link her, um, Facebook page. Um, but yeah, she was kind enough. I asked her to make me a couple of eggs. Said, do you think you could make them? She's like, uh, that looks easy enough. So she whipped these up. I gave her full creative um, control. So I said, I want one Halloween to put my Halloween whips in, and then I'll get them out of the way. So that's a Halloween one. Cute. And then I said, I wanted a snowman, snow theme one. I can put um, Snow Village in, so that's what she came up with that. So, very excited for those. And then, uh, yeah, so so just gotta get my, my whips in there. And then Enchanted Stitches Facebook group, so what I've been working on this week for that, um, I got all four challenges completed, and they were all um, Christmassy, well, except for the first one, um, mostly Christmassy related, so that was also good. So the movie is San the Santa Claus, and so the first one is um, Scott accidentally scares Santa, he fell off the roof, stitched on something with a roof in it, so I picked Cinnamon Stars. And then I decided to work on the roof. So that's how far I got with that. I did a little bit of the brick siding too. More of the oatmeal color. But yeah, I just worked mainly on that part of the roof there. Kind of hard to see the variegation on um, the camera, but... You can see it in person, so. I think it's molasses is what that section of the roof is um, for the color. So that was that one. Uh, the number two, Scott finds a business card in Santa's suit that says, if someone should happen to, something should happen to me, put on my suit, so they don't know what to do. Stitch on a piece that has clothes or reindeer in it. So I decided to stitch on my Prairie Schooler Santa, 2009. So that actually fits into both um, my cross-stick challenge and the Enchanted Stitches. Um, got, I think a little bit more on his sleeve done and a little bit more on his jacket. So mainly on, working on that red. I don't know if I had that skate done last time or not, but I do have a skate done, as you can see. That sleeve is like fully done now, except for the green. Yeah, the green that needs to go on it. And then number three, Santa's traditional colors are red, white, and black. Stitch on. Stitch in any or all of these colors, um, and then I picked the winter joy ornaments I've been working on from Just Cross Stitch magazine. That's what that looks like, and I just worked on the snow. Typically, the, working on that much white for that long period of time would drive me crazy. But I was watching, getting caught up on Steph and Pam's and 911 Stitcher, um, all their travels to the Netherlands. So um, once I got an idea, I didn't have to like do a lot of counting, right? Once I got the first row in, then I could go off of that. So 
that was one time that I was happy to have one color to stitch in for a long period of time. And then last four Enchanted Stitches, uh, Scott and Charlie finished delivering the gifts for Santa um, to save the night. Stitch on a project that you need to finish for Christmas night. Well, I don't know if it's going to be done or not, but when I initially started this in July, I thought I would make it for my dad for Christmas. It's called Grandpa's Truck. Mm. So I got a week left. <sighs> and that's not including however I would finish it. Uh. So the reason why I kind of put it away for a long period of time anyway is because I was waiting on Cherry Cobbler to come in. But I did actually get a lot done on the house. Got the shutters done, the windows done. Then, yeah, I started some snow down there. So I actually did get a lot of stitches in after I started it. I had it in my purse all week. Silly me thinking I would do it at lunchtime. But I didn't take a lunch at all this week. So, um, and I doubt. Next week's going to be any better because I have Friday off and a lot of client visits to do. So I usually just use my lunch to get caught up when I'm um, out of the office doing client visits. So, yeah. So it was a good thought thinking that I might actually step away and do something on my lunch other than work. But, oh well. That's the thought that counts. So, yeah, we'll see if Grandpa's Trucks gets done. Maybe. I don't know. And then for the acrostic challenge, I forgot to bring it up, but you saw it last week. What I had picked from um, 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. I, so yeah, per your schooler, schooler counts towards that. Um, and then I just worked a little bit on Peacock's Garden. And it's not exciting. I just worked on that border there in the corner. So again, I think I was getting caught up on some floss tube so I just picked something easy to stitch so yeah the last pattern is out for it I really should print it I haven't printed it yet it's going to be butterfly the last pattern is butterflies all around like a border of butterflies um again not really top of mind because I'm so far behind but I do have all I don't have no I was gonna say I do have all the other patterns printed but I don't have November's printed I don't think so I should print November and December, and then that way I had them all, and then maybe I'll just put them together in a neatly organized area, as opposed to the old rocking chair that is in my bedroom, and that's where they live right now. Um, they, um, Brendan, I think that's right, from Linen and Threads has announced that the 2021 is going to be a friends and family Quaker sampler. So, not much of a sampler person, and I'm not too, too, too primitive, but maybe I'll give it a shot. We'll see. I can't confirm or deny that I'm going to participate in I don't know. I probably will. Um, yeah, so that's that. I also said that I was going to participate in Stitch from Stash next year, so still hoping to do that so still a couple weeks left in the year to gather more stash before I have to be accountable mm -hmm. also why I was late filming the video is uh, Fortnite Fabrics was having their auction fabric auction for um, the they do it every they do it each fortnight so every two weeks um yeah so they're having that so i wanted to see how that played out might have got one piece so and again gotta build up that stash right <laughs> so yeah so i show my fully finished objects and hey well i guess this is fully finished i put together i told you last week i had bought the um 24 hours of cross stitch planner so I put it all together. 
just realized that I don't have my labels the same way for the months. I try so hard and then I screwed up anyway. But yeah, so I got it all put together in here. And I'm hoping to be more organized come January. My first task will be to write down all my whips. Um, so I have those all organized. Um, I do want to try to make a better list of my stash as far as fabric goes and floss, specifically fancy floss. Um, so I need to figure that out. If anyone has good templates maybe that they want to share for something, like for like a planner, um, Jen didn't have anything with this one for that. It was a suggestion I gave her, I think after she um, released it, which is fine. I think that it is a, a work in progress still for her. And uh, yeah, you never, she never knows when, um, you never know when she may release additional things as well. But um, yeah, she had just mentioned that as kind of a, a, an evolving project, right? Um, but yeah, if anyone has um, something that they use to track their, their fancy floss, some sort of template or, um, yeah, for, or, or for fabric um, that they want to share, I'd be interested um, just because I can't really get my head wrapped around that. And also, speaking of getting my head wrapped around things, we were looking at our Fast Pass reservations because our Disney trip is coming up in March. And so our Fast Pass date is Wednesday. And so we're trying to figure out Fast Passes. And I just, I don't know. My brain is not working very well today. And it's and it's Sunday, so... <sighs> I'm not ready for Christmas. I'm not we put up our tree today. And I don't know where the tree skirt is. It's gone missing. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I'm just. If I could cancel Christmas this year, I just would. But my parents wouldn't like that very much. So if it was up to me, I would just stay home and just send my husband my son to see them but again i don't think that would fly very well okay so speaking of christmas i wanted to show you my stockings that i have made um like this is years ago they're not cross stitch they're just like a felted kit from Hershey's. no i don't know what it's called sure the pensions Starts with an H is a long name. There's no way I'm going to get it right. Um, but the first two stockings that I made for my husband and I, I had just found at um, Michael's. And then um, when my son was born, I found another one that kind of matches. So. so this was my husband's. So yeah, it's just the felt that you cut out and then you stitch on. So it's all hand stitched. And then the beads and... The sequence. My husband's. This is mine. And this is my son's. Now I'm not happy with how his name turned out. Uh, one of these days I might restitch, um, do something on top. At that point, I was just like so done with it. I feel like his is more detailed <laughs> than ours was. But yeah, those are our stockings. Thought you might like to see those. I think that's all I have. So yeah, I hope uh, again everyone has a good week ahead, that your Christmas planning is going well, on uh, your Christmas shopping's done, mine done, not really. I don't know. Again, I don't know. I'm just not into it. I have Friday off, so. I guess my thought is anything that's not done, I'll just do it on Friday. If that's realistic or not, I'm not sure. So, yeah. So, happy Sunday night. Uh, hope everyone has a good week. And that um, 
you get lots of stitching in and you get everything you need done uh, before the holidays. And we'll see you next week, right before Christmas. Thanks. Bye.